stampede in uh, westerns, uh, the cow herd, we, the guns, people shot guns and the cows stampeded. They all run in the same direction, somewhat stupid animals, uh, all in the run, same direction and uh, can hurt many people. Now, a, the new book, uh, the new Harry Potter book came out and people stampeded verb to the bookstores to buy it just like cows uh, or cattle running together in the same direction. A stanza is a in, in poetry a group of lines for let's say that uh, the same it's only stanzas if the same number of lines is contained in each group of lines four, five, six, doesn't matter the same number of lines. Stanza in, in Italiano literally means room uh, so separate rooms that all look alike. Starvation, of course, uh, the condition of not having enough food. Uh, a person is dying or has died of starvation. A statute is a law, uh, usually forbidding something. Steadfast, um, constant, uh, not not relenting, not speeding up, and not slowing down but constant persistent in doing something a steadfast admirer of something uh, or of someone uh, never gives up on that person but is steady and reliable steerage is part of a boat or maybe airplane uh, the part that contains the instruments that steer <clears throat> sterling uh, British term sterling silver, uh, sterling pound, uh, having high value. He's a sterling lad, fine guy. Stern, serious, unsmiling, stern expression on my face. Um, very serious. To stimulate is to arouse, to enliven. Uh, Experts want to stimulate the Korean economy now uh, by helping the people who need help and providing jobs and so forth to enliven. A stipend is a is a sum of money, usually not much, usually received on a uh, regularly. That is, he receives a stipend every month, uh, not much but some. Stir. <coughs> verb to stir some liquid, stir the soup, um, that's VT, uh, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse, Twas the night before Christmas, VI meaning moving. Uh, in fact you could say move is a synonym because it is moving, VI, I moved it, VT, same with stir. Strenuous, um, putting forth a great effort. Uh, he was strenuous in his efforts, or his efforts were strenuous, like strain. It's from the same word as strain. Uh, after strenuous efforts, he succeeded. Strained a lot, worked very hard. Stubborn, obstinate, um, that is, not yielding. Stubborn can be good, more often it's used uh, in a pejorative or bad sense. Um, you're just being stubborn, you refuse to admit that I'm right. Men regularly use this on women. Uh, stump is just the part that's left of a tree. After I cut the tree down, the stump is left. Stupid. Literally, stupid means in a stupor, means showing no signs of intelligence. Um, after no sleep after failing to sleep for days he was stupid in a stupor but of course we use the word meaning uh, having no intelligence sturdy um, the table is sturdy that is it can't be moved very easily it certainly cannot be knocked over suave suave means having good manners um, polished refined even, uh, suave. Subdue is to bring under control. Uh, it's like 
quill we had a couple of pages ago. Uh, the government subdued the rebellion, quelled the rebellion, uh, to subdue a, a crisis is to bring it under control. His manners can be subdued, meaning reserved, controlled, not very emotional, um, steadfast maybe, subjugated, past of subjugate to subjugate is to bring under control. Literally the word Latin, of course, all of them again, uh, is to bring under the yoke. Now, oxen or horses or cows were used to plow, and the, the device that was put on their shoulders to control them with the aid of the reins is a yoke. Uh, and subjugate is to bring under that yoke and bring under control, yoke, Y-O-K-E. Sublimate is to kind of dissolve, uh, to make less threatening. <clears throat> Maybe I have hostile feelings towards someone, but I'm able to sublimate them by uh, various tricks, but maybe my hostility for that person uh, remains, or some of it remains, deep down. Through dreams, perhaps, we sublimate some of our hostilities. Uh, that is, we express our feelings, perhaps, in dreams. All of this is Freudian stuff. Submerged to put underwater. Uh, the submarine submerged. Uh, V-I or V-T. Submissive, if I'm submissive, I always submit, I never uh, disagree, I never object, I never rebel. Um, to submit, uh, for you, the most important, well, VI and VT. VI, to submit, to give up. I submit, I give up. VT, he submitted his application. Uh, you must submit your application on time. You submit your homework. Mit, Latin, to send under, literally, but to give over is the meaning. Subordinate, as, an, as a noun, uh, those who are under the command of someone else are his subordinates. To subordinate is to, to make less in rank, that's the Latin meaning, of uh, than someone else. A subordinate clause in grammar is a dependent clause. Uh, it's not the main clause. It is under, in rank, the main clause or the independent clause. Subsequent means following after. The subsequent events showed that he was right, uh, but no one believed him. The events that followed after. Good. Subservient is sim similar to submissive, but it's more it's stronger. If I'm subservient towards someone, perhaps I'm obsequious. I think we had that before, maybe. In my manners, that is, oh, you're always right, yes, sir, yes, sir, anything you want, sir. I'm, I'm more than submissive, I'm uh, subservient or obsequious. To subside is to calm down. The storm... Uh, started and then it subsided. Substantiate is to make stronger. I uh, substantiate my claim <coughs> to do something, I make it stronger. Uh, I substantiate my uh, claim to some some money, I bring evidence that shows that I have a right to that money maybe. Substitute, a noun or a, a verb. The noun is more used. Uh, this is a substitute for that. We don't have the desired object or the desired person, so you will have to accept this substitute in its place. I can substitute one thing for another thing, the verb. <coughs> Use in its place. Subterranean, under the earth. Uh, subterranean sound, subterranean uh, activity taking place under the earth. Subtract, to draw away. Of course, f five, 
uh, if I subtract 2 from 5, I have 3. <coughs> Suburb, very important for you. The towns that lie outside a main city. Uh, I guess Suwon used to be a uh, suburb of Seoul and is more and more part uh, as the as cities sprawl or grow out um, they absorb the suburbs. In America suburban life is a special form of life. Suburban people who live in the suburbs <coughs> special mentality um, not very admirable really uh, to subvert is to turn under, to subvert something is to turn it under, um, I've never seen the word used. Succession is that which will follow or follows. Uh, several victories followed in succession, followed one after another. <coughs> succession to the throne, that is the king dies and is succeeded by succeeded by someone else, uh, the succession takes place, rare word. To succumb is to yield to. He succumbed to death, yielded to death, after a long struggle. He succumbed to the other person's uh, strength, yielded. Suffocation, uh, if I suffocate someone, I cover the person's uh, face so the person can't breathe. He died of suffocation, not in a fire, for example. Uh, some people are burned to death in a fire, but most in a large fire die of suffocation, die because the smoke um, prevents them from breathing. Suitable. That which is suitable is appropriate. Suitable behavior, suitable dress is appropriate for the situation. <coughs> sometimes laughter is suitable, sometimes laughter is unsuitable. <coughs> A serious situation. To sulk is to pout. Sulk is the better word, pout is the word that's more used. <coughs> uh, typically when we hear no, children but adults too, we sulk, we pout, I'm not happy with you children sulk or pout when they hear no. Sullen, I'm unhappy, uh, but it's not a nice state. Uh, he was sullen in his attitude, in his behavior, um, that is, uh, he was not happy and he made sure that others knew it. Uh, sullen even implies an, an ugly facial expression. It's not as strong as scowl, less strong than scowl, but it shows displeasure. A, uh, summon is more important as a verb. If I summon someone, uh, I call that person to me. Good. Superficial, having to do with the surface of things. <clears throat> a superficial intelligence deals only or is too impressed with the surface of things. Does not look closely enough um, the press is often accused of, being super, accused of being superficial in its treatment of everything, and probably it's true. Journalists are never specialists of anything. Uh, but our culture is directed by journalists on one level or another, and no wonder our thinking is superficial about things. A superficial wound on the surface, uh, not deep. Generally, superficial means not deep. Supersede means to take precedence over something. Uh, the new version of the book supersedes the old versions. That is, the old versions are now obsolete, no longer valid. The new version supersedes them 